Everywhere you look these days, artificial intelligence has taken over conversations from CEOs to even your next door neighbor. The term artificial intelligence is broad in its meaning, but basically refers to the intelligence displayed and created by machines. But it wouldn't be until the 2010s that we truly saw a rise in AI. In the 2010s, IBM debuted Watson, a computer capable of answering questions in a natural language, and it later went on to compete on the iconic TV game show, Jeopardy. Then came the release of Apple's Siri, which relied on machine learning as a type of AI to answer questions. But where does generative AI fit in all of this, and how does it stand apart? Scientists have been exploring this technology in the background for years, but it wasn't until the launch of OpenAI's ChatGPT, a form of generative AI, in November 2022 that caught everyone's attention. And within two months, over 100 million people were using it every week. Skipping over a lot of technical details, generative AI boils down to the art of prediction. Whether it's the next word in a sentence, the next note in a melody, or the next pixel in an image, all of this lies at the heart of generative AI technology, predictions. In the case of ChatGPT, the chatbot developed by OpenAI, the system is trained on millions of gigabytes of information provided by a large language model. This information is typically obtained through most of the public internet. When you ask the chatbot a question, it begins to formulate a response and within an instant, it returns an answer. It achieves this by diving into its large language model and asking based on what we've seen across billions of internet pages, what words and phrases make the most sense to put next. However, generative AI systems that were created to produce images, audio, and video work in a different way. They mostly use something called general adversarial networks, which sounds complicated, but imagine two players in a game known as neural networks trying to outsmart each other. Let's say we ask the system for a picture of a dog. The first player, called the discriminator, knows what real dogs look like because it's seen thousands of images of dogs. The second player, the generator, tries to create new dog images that are so good, they fool the discriminator into thinking they're real. This process continues until the discriminator can't tell the difference between a real and an AI-generated dog. Depending on how well the discriminator is trained, the final image might look incredibly real, or it could end up a bit weird like a dog with five legs and three nostrils. Generative AI has been shown to accelerate the discovery of new drugs by analyzing huge chemical databases, diagnosing eye degeneration 100 times faster than previously thought possible, and even predicting repair needs for industrial equipment, all paving the way to enhance productivity and creativity. Think of how cars change transportation for our world or even electricity. According to Pew Research, experts are voicing concern over AI being used to spread misinformation rather than AI machines governing the world. But one thing we are certain of is this, as generative AI continues to evolve, so will our understanding of it.